A battle on the water, some fun in the mud, and dancing in the streets. Those are all activities that Shannon Bryan is here to tell us about today on 207. She is from FitMaine.com. Thank you for coming in. Good to see you. Happy to be here. All kinds of things happening after the 4th as people want to be out and active in Maine. And let's begin with something that's happening on Saturday at Terrier Wild Resort in Bridgeton. It is called the Paddle Battle. And this is actually a couple of different events that are going on here. Yeah, this is, I mean, people are going to duke it out on the water, um, but in a nice friendly way. So they're offering two different races. One is a 2K course and one is a 5K course. The 2K course is if you're, you know, a new paddleboarder or just a recreational paddleboarder and you just want to get out on the water and enjoy yourself. The 5K course is if you really want to plow ahead, you're in it to win it, you're going to paddle like you've never paddled before. That would be you. Yes. I'm somewhere in between. I'm serious, but not so serious. Um, I end up doing too much talking whenever I'm doing any activity, <laughs> so I'm never going to come in first because I chat too much. Um, but yeah, but either way, it's it's some level of competition, but also just an excuse to get out in the water. And all the funds raised benefit the Lakes Environmental Association, so clean water, Maine lakes, support it all. That's a beautiful area, a beautiful part of Maine there in Bridgeton on Highland Lake. Also happening on Saturday in Orrington, the Wicked Muddy Mainer. This starts early, 8 in the morning. Oh, I love it. And I love the description that they have for this event. They're calling it a 120-acre pig pen of sweat and tears. <laughs> if that doesn't encourage you to sign up, then I don't know what it will. But basically, yes, 20 obstacles, mud. Um, people are encouraged to like dress up in costumes, bring teams out, and you're just going to spend a day. They have waves going out all afternoon, and you're going to get dirty. You're going to have a really fantastic time doing it. Uh, it's worth it's worth repeating because that phrase is so good. So go ahead. Hit it for us one more time. 120 acre pig pen of sweat and tears. Oh, sounds great. There you go. <laughs> uh, let's head over to New Hampshire into the White Mountains for the Yoga Hike in the Whites. This is going on on Saturday, July 14th from 930 in the morning to 3 in the afternoon. And this costs $55. Yeah, this is a wonderful event because we all, you know, those of us who like to hike, you know, certainly the summit views are enough reason to go for a great hike in the White Mountains. Um, but they're also a great place, the summit is a great place to do some yoga and really explore the outdoors. Um, and this company called Supyo, which is based out of Boston, does outdoor events like this uh, throughout New England all the time. So this is one of those events. The $55 includes the guided hike up, an hour of yoga at the summit, and a boxed lunch as well. So like all of your needs are essentially taken care of. Um, and while you will be hitting uh, two summits, this is still a pretty beginner friendly hike and beginner friendly yoga. So if you're still kind of new, you're welcome to join. That was the thing that caught my eyes. I thought, geez, you do all that, you're gonna be exhausted and you're not gonna have very good form when you're doing the yoga or you're gonna be tumbling down the mountain at the end of tumbling the hike. <laughs> uh, but anyway, it's described as a beginner to moderate hike. So it keeps things in balance. Yeah, and it, it's about a 4.4 mile round trip so it's gonna definitely gonna take a nice few hours to do the whole loop but it's accessible so it is doable you might sweat a bit but you can do it uh, on Saturday July 14th excuse me in Portland see I can't even talk about these <laughs> things so much less do them uh, from 4 in the afternoon until 7 30 in the evening it is the dance mile and this is not a race what is it Oh no, this is all about dancing. There is no running allowed. Well, they probably won't <laughs> kick you out for running. But no, this is a one mile route through Portland and I can't I can't not talk about the dance mile without, you know, You're showing the moves. Busting out some of my fantastic dance moves. Um, this is a great event. They do it every summer for the last handful of years and it's just an excuse to essentially dance in the streets. There is some pre-dancing prep and some Zumba and some festivities where you get to bedazzle yourself and kind of decorate. You're encouraged to pull out, you know, the costuming, the weird hats and wigs and whatever you'd like and just hit the streets with some music, dancing up and then they have a nice little after party with more music and more dancing. That's a really cool idea. Just dance. Don't run for a mile. Dance for a mile. Dance. I, th I feel like I could dance for many miles. Let's finish up with the Portland Kids Duathlon. This is happening Sunday morning, July 15th, 8 o'clock in Portland at Cyclemania. What's this one all about? This is this one's straight up for the kids. Um, so, you know, adults who are active, um, you know, hopefully we're kids who are active. And, and this is essentially asking kids to like experiment with the concept of multi sports. So it's a duathlon, so it incur er, includes biking and running. It's for kids ages five to 12. Um, so the younger kids will just do a run and a bike, and the, and the older kids will do a run, bike, run. So they get to have a lot of fun with it. And it all happens on the Bayside Trail and the Eastern Trail. So it's off the road. Um, Cycle Mania, which is one of the co presenters, uh, will be the, the base camp, sort of. And it's just an opportunity for kids to go out, have a little bit of competition, but really just play outside. And this is another one that has a charitable component because some of the money, some of the proceeds will benefit the Portland Education Foundation. That's absolutely right. So you get to like watch kids and cheer on kids who are playing outside and being active and support Portland schools. So 
Five different events. They all sound like a lot of fun. Shannon Bryan from FitMain.com. A little more dancing. Ready to go. <laughs> Ready to go. She's going to be dancing down that mile. If you'd like more information, we've got information on all those events. You'll find it at the 207 section of our website, NewsCenterMain.com. And we'll be back. Shannon's still boogieing right after this.